Hello dear students, welcome to Devi Course Commerce and Management Academy. Today we will see standard deviation in continuous series. Did you understand individual and discrete series? If yes, this is quite easy. Formula is also same formula as like uh, discrete series. So the formula is here. Standard deviation is equal to root of sigma f dx square by n minus sigma f dx by n whole square. Same formula. Some people use it as a fd or some people use it as a fdx. Doesn't matter but same formula is same. Okay. So this is the formula same discrete and continuous series also. Okay. Now today we will see one problem continuous series. What they are asking compute x bar means arithmetic mean standard deviation and coefficient of standard deviation okay so these two we are going to these three we are going to calculate what is the data given to us only this data is given x x in class interval means continuous series okay and frequency is given that's it now i have done the rest of the columns as per the requirement say for example we want x bar x bar means what is the formula x bar is equal to sigma fm by n okay x bar is equal to sigma fm by n fm by n means we have to calculate fm first for fm we need first mid value so i have calculated first column mid value mid value is you know middle value of this x 400 plus 500 divided by 2 450 500 plus 600 by 2 550 like mid value you got now as per the formula what do we need fm we need frequency into mid value okay so this i have calculated f into m okay 18 to 450 3600 like we got fm the total is 39600 once if you get fm apply it in the formula sigma fm 39600 divided by n n is total of the frequency okay so you got x bar next what do we need standard deviation for standard deviation what do we want first dx dx square fdx fdx square 4 we need dx dx square fdx fdx square first let us focus on the dx dx means we have to take the deviations from the mid value from the mid value how do we get dx m minus a m minus a r x bar here we have taken x bar so m minus x bar x bar is here 660 i have written the brackets now how we are getting this dx m minus x bar m is 450 450 minus 660 minus 210 550 minus 660 minus 110 okay so like you got dx dx total we don't want because as per the formula we never take directly dx so i didn't total the dx next what do we need fdx frequency into dx okay 8 into minus 210 44100 12 into minus 110 12100 oh, sorry here na frequency into uh, yeah dx is where first dx is okay next what we have done dx is where then we have gone for fdx okay dx is where just simply multiplying uh, minus 210 into minus 210 44100 110 into 110 12100 like this you have done dx is where now fdx frequency into dx means 8 into minus 210 it comes minus 1680 i was wondering when i said this no 8 into dx is fdx 8 into minus 210 this calculation f into dx fdx okay in the same way 12 into minus 110 minus 1320 18 into 10 minus 180 in the same way 12 into 90 1080 like you got the fdx we need the total of fdx when i have done this total this minus value plus value both are equal both are equal means total is zero right if you want you can do it you will come to know and after that fdx square we want f into dx square okay 
frequency into dx square it comes 8 into 44100 it is 352800 and 12 into uh, f into dx square na no? 12 into 12100 145200 18 into 100 1800 like frequency into dx square comes to fdx square while calculating be careful okay so this calculations i have done to save the time anyway you have to do it it doesn't matter after all pressing the calculator anyone can do school children can do it so this calculations we have done now as per this x bar already we have calculated x bar also they asked x bar we have done 660 we got now what do we need standard deviation coefficient of standard deviation both are required standard deviation formula i have written just we will do the calculation standard deviation is equal to root of sigma f d x square that is 10 lakh 54000 divided by n n is 60 minus sigma f d x sigma f d x is here nothing zero so zero if we do calculation or not it doesn't matter at all right so minus if you want you can do zero by 60 divided by whole square 0 divided by so it, it doesn't make any sense at all so that is why we can ignore this part this part we can ignore it because 0 so what we are going to do calculation of this one only 10 lakh 56 54,000 10 lakh 54,000 divided by 60 it comes root of 17,566.67 if you take out the root this coming to 132.54 this is 132.54 standard deviation you got next what else coefficient of standard deviation coefficient of standard deviation what is the formula rho by x bar into 100 rho by x bar into 100 rho is we know rho means standard deviation 132.54 132.54 divided by x bar x bar is here 660 into 100 do the calculations 132.54 into 100 divided by 660 it comes to 20.08 that's it okay want to take screenshot yes you can so this is in percentage okay when we are multiplying with 100 it is percentage 20.08 percent that's it let me give you a recap of this standard deviation in continuous series there is nothing to worry formula is same same like discrete series as per the formula remember what do we want first of all uh, when we wanted to take deviations from x bar x bar anywhere required if they don't ask s x bar that's arithmetic mind still will calculate x bar to take out the deviations from x bar so for this columns prepare it remember the formulas nothing is difficult very easy now as per the x bar you know that we have we need the formula of uh, sigma fm by n fm by n means mid value is required then f into m calculations we have done x bar we got it now if you remember this formula you will come to know what are the columns are required first thing is that dx we need to take immediate dx square then fdx f into dx fdx then fdx square f into dx square fdx square calculate it write it in the formula so you got the standard deviation this much when you get the standard deviation coefficient of variation is quite easy formula is rho by x bar into 100 simply coefficient of variation means you can take rho by x bar but with percentage and you want rho by x bar into 100 so you got a percent of 20.08 clear next class we'll see some more problems different problems combined standard deviation we'll see 
and also few more topics we are going to work out. Stay connected, check out the playlist, whatever may be your course. Syllabus is same. Whether you are doing from Punjab University or Karnataka, Bangalore University or Hyderabad, Usmani University or any university, even out of the country, if you are studying in Nepal or otherwise Sri Lanka, Nepal, uh, Singapore, America, whatever it may be the place, but syllabus is same, methodology is same. So you can follow it comfortably and I am not charging anything, everything is free of cost. Please check out the playlist, what is there in your subject? What is there in your syllabus? Match it with our playlist and use it. Don't forget to share these videos. Practice well. Good luck.